Y'all supporting the gay, the gay culture, fat culture, all the cultures, everything comes the, the, the feminist culture with no families. Y'all are supporting it's not men. And if a man tells you the truth to push back on it, he's toxic, he's a narcissist, he's sexist, and, and, and he's a, a bigot. Everything we do to try to support families, our black women push back on. That's the problem. So if you want to talk about sexualizing, make sure you acknowledge what the mamas are doing to the to, right in front of their boys and their daughters, having men going in and out, in and out, in and out, having their titties all over the internet, having their ass all over the internet. Uh, showcasing everything and marketing to other men why you got a man and you got children why you got babies bang 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 shit like that shit like that shit like that shit like that what's going on youtube is your boy rome back with another video if you're new to the platform welcome to the tribe by the end of this video i hope you subscribe and man, that was one hell of a rant. Um, I think the brother name is Ali. Um, he showcased like his name and graphic at the end of the video so you guys can see. I don't know if he got a YouTube channel or not, but I am familiar with seeing him on a Lapeef network. So, but I know some of you guys still watch Lapeef, some of you guys don't. For reasons that I, I, I completely understand, you know, because Lame when it comes to Lapeef network, it's a little bit of a mixed bag, but I think that's what kind of makes it interesting and keeps it going because you know it, it it's it's entertain it's it's a little bit more entertaining when you got a lot when you got a lot more people on the opposite ends versus just having um one big echo chamber so from that aspect i can understand and i know other people got their other reasons for not watching it anymore as well however that rant in particular man he is 100 percent correct and i agree with him 1000 percent on it this is, to be honest with you, this is like one of the main arguments that pad that you see a lot of passport bros making. Because one of the main purposes for passport bros is, you know, finding a woman that you can build a legacy with, you can build a family with. And, you know, they hate on that as well. So it seems like anything that a man wants to do that involves being traditional or wanting a woman to be traditional in a sense it's frowned upon yet women ex expect men to do traditional things S still hold men to a traditional stand what meanwhile y'all are offering less than what traditional women in the past did there is a young lady that i've reacted to before and Excuse me, I want to show you guys what she had to say on the topic because I thought this was very, very, very interesting because I never really saw anybody break it down in this way or look at it from this angle, man. Check this out. I don't know why I didn't think about this until today. Reading through all the comments about single motherhood and baby daddy, baby mama drama. Y'all know something that I don't understand and it just dawned on me. A lot of women are say they do not want to get married. A man will never control me. My life will not be centered around a man. I don't want to attach myself to a man to have to always worry about what he want and what he thinks. I don't want to get married. These are the same women that are having babies with men and then being upset that their life is controlled by the baby. And then they're not blaming the baby. They're saying, he left me to raise this baby by myself. You are a bare minimum dad if you only do every other weekend. You are barely paying your child support and it's making it hard on me. The kids are sick and you won't take off of work to come and help me with the kids. Y'all realize what y'all asking for, right? A husband. <laughs> <laughs> the way she walked off when she said that, bro, that shit had me dying, bro, because it because what she's saying is so true. She was like, yeah, that's exactly what y'all want. I mean, because think about it. It would be a y'all wouldn't really have much to complain about if y'all just married before you carry like Kevin Samuels was trying to preach to y'all all that time before he passed away. 
and y'all was attacking this man like what he like like what he was saying was blasphemous or something. Like, why would you not? And what's really scary is I literally just did a video on this maybe about a week or two ago, you guys, before I came down here to Columbia. Now, there was a I did a video of a young lady who said she would much rather be a single mom than be married with children. And this isn't the first time I've heard a woman or seen a woman on social media say this. That scares the hell out of me, man. Because think about it. Technically, you're still going to be tied to the man anyway. And then when shit hit the fan, like she said, you still going to blame the man anyway. So why not just wait till you in a relationship with somebody, get married, then have children, so that way you ain't got to go through all that drama. You ain't got to go through all that BS. You know what I mean? It'll be a lot less of a headache on you. It's just common damn sense. I don't understand why women act like that's asking for too much. But I digress, man. I'm going to let her finish. Let's keep it moving. Listen, I'm trying to show y'all that getting married to a healthy, happy balanced man that wants a healthy happy marriage is the only way to guarantee that you are going to have the support that you need for these children and where you think you being controlled by a man in a marriage you really being controlled by a man when you allow him to have a baby or two by you with no commitment he can get up anytime and leave you with this baby and you thought that was a good idea you thought marriage was so bad, but being a single mama was better? Y'all don't want these men to step up and be better baby daddies. Y'all really want husbands. Y'all want someone there every day to help you take care of the baby. You want somebody to split the responsibilities with the baby. You want somebody to financially provide for you while you are nurturing the baby. You want somebody there to discipline. You want somebody to give you a break so you can go hang with your girlfriends. That's a husband. Maybe we should think this through going forward. Yeah, but let's be real. I, 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 that, that might be asking for a little bit too much. I, I just think there we're just at the point of no return. What you're because what you're really starting to see now is women having children by men who they know probably aren't going to make the best fathers, but just because they just so happen to be highly attracted to them or they or there, there are some cases when women just want to have baby by certain dudes just for the sake of genetics. I seen this with my own, my, my own eyes and it blew my mind. Like I, I'm, I, I'll give you, I'll give you this example. So at my old job, before I started working YouTube full time, right? I I'm, I'm, I'm good friends with um, this brother because he grew up with some people on my mom's side of the family, you know, in the hood, downtown Cincinnati, what have you, right? He's married, married in his 40s, like early to mid 40s, right? Okay. There was a 20 year old that worked with us, right? Claimed to be a church girl doesn't have kids bro you know what i mean and, and this is what i mean when i say i know brothers that 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 got like multiple chicks on the side and they married these women know that they married and they still want to screw them that's why when these women be talking about uh why these so-and-so dudes in my dms and they already got girls i'm like that shit go through one ear and out the other with me because i'm like because a lot of y'all still fucking these dudes but I digress. Don't you know this? This man told me, bro. He was like, bro, man, this girl want to have my baby, bro. Like she want me to go in raw dog. He was like, bro, you know, I ain't about that life, bro. He was like, bro. And I got a kid on the way, bro. You know, I got a wife in home and all that. Bro, these women do not care, bro. Now, obviously, this ain't all women, clearly, but. I've seen and heard this enough to bring it to people's attention and let y'all know that this shit really happens, bro. There are women out here who want to just have children and then do their own thing. And then 
once again, they can just, and that's the other thing about it too. They can use that to stay in that victimhood mentality that they love to do. So that way they don't have to take any accountability for anything as well. So there's that factor too. It's like this, man. There's plenty of men out here that, that want families. There's a reason why men file for divorce only 20% of the time compared to women filing 80. That's because men value keeping their families together. Apparently way more than women do outside of just, a, you know, just being afraid of losing half of everything. I'm like, this is one of the reasons why I'm so grateful for my parents, man. 46 and a half years of marriage. You know what I mean? Like when my mother took those vows, death to us, death to do us part, she meant that. Because as y'all guys know, my, my father just passed away a few months ago. 46 and a half years, bro. Yeah. Yeah, you don't hear you don't hear that you don't hear that too much nowadays. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this, man. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. Oh geez, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hitting that bell notification that way y'all know when I'm uploading. Hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience. Also look out for the travel vlog channel, Unplugged Traveler. Link is in the description, as well as my latest mixtape, Lost Music Volume 2. And if you want to purchase any other merch, spreadshot.com link is in the description. Until the next video, y'all, deuces.